talking to Rikan, the co-founder of Is My Trip. Rikan, how are you doing this evening? Yeah. Yes, uh, all good. A little bit exhausted with a couple of meetings today. Yeah. Okay. And, so it's uh, he is the founder of one of the first unicorn technology B two B B two C company. Is My Trip. Yes. How was the journey so far? Yeah, journey has been filled with quite a lot of ups and downs. So, but we have been resilient enough to overcome all ups and downs in the ecosystem. Yeah, we started as an bootstrap company, profitable. We were unicorn got listed in 2021. So it's a journey which is like so full of lovers. It's a journey which is full of innovation. It's a journey which is full of you know, a couple of mistakes which we have done. And we have learned from it. We have learned from it. And we have learned from it. That's the best way to learn from the mistakes. Yes, that's right. And uh, recently it got uh, listed in the Indian stock market, I believe. Yes, that's right. So now it's a public company. Yes. And so you're dealing with public money, a lot of responsibility and to get yeah. people good yeah. returns. Yeah. So how is uh, your market share in India yeah. and for Middle East market? Yeah. So in India, like uh, we've been having in an online market, we made it around 13 percent market share. Uh, you cannot calculate market share in a way because there is no firm belief to it. But you generally speculate, right? There is a kind of industry in terms of radiation, right? So, uh, so uh, there are some research firms who have done that kind of thing. So, approximately 20 to 30% of the share of the same In uh, the UAE, we entered in 2019. So, we have been growing our business for the last nine months of our business is almost 89% higher than nine months of the last year. We are a listed company, so we have not done the business. So, we have not done the business. Uh, we have already started sowing the seeds in multiple markets. So we have already started the application in the UK. We started in Thailand. We are going to start in multiple other countries. But yeah, we are waiting for the formal board approval to come in. So we can start an application. Since it's a, it, it's a portal online travel booking system, you have definitely a big numbers of uh, visitors of the B2C market. Yeah. But besides that, what about the B2B segment? Yeah. You know, we started as a B2B2C B2 travel company in Russia. So those were the days when I used to visit the travel agents in the door of the trip I was just giving a story to somebody that you know, I was traveling on the bike and with my students to be appointed right, with the colleagues and etc. So uh, like 12 meetings, 15 meetings and day. And it was a very good journey. I mean, it was quite a passion for us. And I personally probably would have onboarded 3,000 people in travel agents and door operators in India. In India. Uh, but now we have been coming back into the B2B2C B2 market and uh, we believe that in the way going forward uh, we will have more and more travel agents and tour operators and working with us. This is the fact that uh, we are very transparent in our prices, we are very transparent in our communication. Uh, we believe in the convenience to uh, keep customers. Like for example, when we were working with the travel agents, you know, one of the biggest fears we had was that uh, when a customer is working with travel agencies or travel agencies shop, he should not go empty handed. You know, because I always believe that you know, my technology has to be too, so stable that you know those agents or those people you know been relying upon me about my on my company to, to make their livelihood. So I was having that kind of fear that you know my technology has to be so stable so that they do not feel that you know they've done the mistake in trusting the product. So that's where we are coming back again in B2B2C B2 space and we feel that it's a big space, all of the people in India and also in India knows as a good prospector and we feel that we'll be able to add a lot better. Great. Tell me something, whenever it is an online business, the main motive is to bypass the media to middle people you know, who are in between for the business and give the best value to the customer correct so if I book a package or a ticket online for this my trip what is the percentage who you're looking at so um, first of all I'm sorry but I don't agree with you that all the businesses don't work like that uh, I believe that you know collaboration is the key to success that is also correct. So, there is a way to think about it. So we work very closely now with a lot of travel agents and tour operators. And we feel that because they are the people who have been getting the customers to you, 
in the B2B market. The B2B market is good, right? So as I told you that we've already started working in the B2B space as well. So we give them good amount of permission. So anyone who's working for Nice Madrid or working in higher travel agents, especially the auto businesses and the hotel business, we get uh, we give good amount of permission. And uh, tell me for our US clients, we have a huge number of people yeah. reading magazines yeah. from the US. Yeah. Is it also serviceable for the US market? Uh, we're going to start a US admissions pretty soon. Okay. So it's not yet been approved by the We are highly confident and highly confident. So anything, whatever you want to do, has to be approved by the way. So once we get an approval, we'll start our admissions. So we have already started, we have already opened a company in the US. Most probably we expect that within few months we'll be starting our operations. Correct. That means there'll be a lot of value we'll be able to add specifically to the Indian desktop. Because we have very good uh, pricings in terms of flights from India to US, US to India. And we have good local pricings in India as well. As a matter of fact, we also own uh, Suri Hospitality in India. We have got 25 hotels. Uh, so, you know, we are a bit of positive in all the vertical that we start. We have also uh, started development of a hotel in Ayodhya. Uh, that's a 200 tools property, and this is what we have tied up with recent to So they're going to manage it with us. Okay. Uh, you can tell me something. When someone is buying a ticket or a package online, there is also sometimes uh, the, the protection system, the, the, the cancellation protection of the trip cancellation. Yeah. Yeah. So how is my trip work in this, in this unusual case? Thank you for asking this question. I think that's very, very important question. So as for the customers and the families, it's important to understand. We call it as FAR model. That's known as cancellation for any reason. So we were the first one to start that product along with an insurance company back in India. Uh, but now we have replicated uh, here in Dubai as well. Along with this product, uh, I must tell you, we have started a very innovative product that's known as uh, free medical insurance. Not insurance, sorry, it's free medical assurance. Assurance. Yes. So there is anybody who is buying a ticket on e and if he's not feeling well, uh, there are no questions asked. Before 24 hours, you have to inform us. Uh, you'll have to give us some medical certificates. Uh, based on that, there are no questions asked. We'll give you 100% okay. And similarly, in this CFAR product, there is a cost attached to it, but in medical issue, there is no cost attached to it, it's free for us. Okay. So, in this uh, CFAR product, there is some cost attached to it, so you can cancel the ticket for us without any reason. So, you get your process. That's amazing, that's amazing. And how easy it is to refund the money yeah. in, in the yeah. Indian yeah. Uh, banking yeah. system? It's very easy. Okay. You know, the like Indian banking system and the financial system is much, very much developed. The so digitalized the system is yes, very... UPI is been getting all across the places. I think Dubai and probably I think France has been also adopting the similar system from India. So it's quite advanced. So the minute you tell them, you know, take them cancel in each market, based on what kind of assurance policies you are taking, you get your refund immediately. Within maybe 24 hours or 72 hours. I think immediately, but it's UPI, it's immediate. UPI immediate. UPI That's immediate. Correct. Credit card generally takes up to 40, 24 hours. 24 hours. So get you the refund back or being displayed into your credit card. But from these matter side, it's immediate. Okay, my last question would be like you are promoting more on the B2C or B2B package as a package. Yeah. 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 So, you know, um, what we have launched very recently is a brand known as Explore Bharat. Uh, so therein we are showcasing the uh, diverse cities, cultures, heritage, monuments, temples, uh, and different uh, other uh, you know, things in India, like for example festivals. Right? And it's a kind of brand which is not focusing on just the mining between products and giving to the customer. It's a tailor-made product wherein travel agencies and the people are much of your team. We will tailor made everything for them. And along with that, we even have a couple of packages they can take the ideas to that particular packages and the products which they have But it's a kind of brand which we have thought that we want to be having more, much more immersive experience. So in a way like for example, when you travel, so you might probably have an interest to do organic farming. Right? So agritourism is one part of it. You may have an interest to go to a monument and speak to somebody to learn the history of that particular place and that particular destination. Maybe you may not want a travel guide to come here. 
we will have somebody who is already been very much inclined towards the movement to give you that kind of confidence. We would want somebody to teach you how to cook an Indian cuisine. So that's where we will also help you. You would want somebody uh, on the celebrity side to have a dinner with you. That's where we will also help you. We have been combining different, different experiences and we have been curating it. And we are still hunting for it. So it's like a journey. I said it was last but it was not the last question. I have another one. Uh, what is your perception and what you feel and how you are using artificial intelligence in your system? I must tell you that you know when I was 16 years old, I started this company along with my brothers. We are three brothers, Prashant, Shant and I'm the youngest one. So I'm the one who been involved in the technology side. So I'm very passionate about it. I was the first coder in his company. So we use Genia and artificial intelligence quite uh, significantly in our company. As a matter of fact, uh, all the personalization which telling the people who want in the discovery phase has been done already. We have been working quite a bit on specifically how do we probably use artificial intelligence to recommend uh, nearby places to a customer. For example, if we've been traveling from one place to another, you have to show on your leisure mode in your phone and in your notification. You get a notification in the nearby attractions and it will display you will be 5 minutes away from you and you will have to do 30 minutes will be total 45 minutes will have to be in that destination. You click on book and everything is going So, in artificial intelligence, it's, it's like a lot of things. Like, for example, uh, in, uh, in a customer service center, uh, we use it for the quality control, we use it for the sentiment analysis. Interaction with the clients. <laughs> Not really. Okay. We, we make it personalized. Okay, very we make good. it personalized. We don't do the robot being speaking to a client, but it's very easy for us. We have done that in the past. We have learned it. So that's why I was saying that we have done many mistakes. We have learned from it. Uh, we would want to keep our customer service very personal for the customers, but we use it for the sentiment analysis. Like for example, when you're calling is my call center, we will understand that you know what kind of sentiments you've been calling at the beginning of the call. At the end of the call, what kind of sentiments you've been having. So we measure it quite effectively if you're not being satisfied. And the system will automatically identify and give it to the manager like in this particular person is not satisfied. It raise a plan. Absolutely, it raise a plan. We use artificial almost every day. So I, I generally say that AI for any industry as a matter of fact is not artificial intelligence. It's all inclusive. You have to be there. If you miss this, then you'll you'll miss everything. Somebody else will take care of your work. For sure. We can thank you so much for coming to travel to the world. Thank you so much. Pleasure speaking.